my dear friends welcome back to be spice in this session we we'll discuss about bentley nevada 3500 system so here we'll touch upon more on the architecture architecture in the sense uh, you know the rack module all this each each type of module we will focus okay in fact this was uh, requested by one of our uh, viewers and yeah that is the reason i am uploading this uh, before prior to this we have uploaded also one video on the vibration basics concepts wherein we covered you know the sensors the types the application everything so it is available in our channel so you can watch and get benefited so here we will focus more on the architecture right so before going into the architecture let's understand the vibration see vibration is nothing but an oscillatory motion of a machine from its normal position of rest so basically oscillatory in the sense back and forth any motion that repeat itself after a specific interval like this right is uh, called as a you know vibration right so this is about the intro why we need what is the importance of vibration in fact this was covered but again i am repeating it in a different way see this uh, vibration monitoring is important because uh, to protect uh, against the machinery falls predict and diagnose crucial machinery problems uh, such as you know imbalance misalignment shaft crack and bearing failures okay and what are all the parameters to measure thrust vibration speed temperature these are the some of the parameters right now we go into the features of a bentley nevada 3500 monitoring system so basically this bentley offers a state of art vibration monitoring system and it's a processor based system and modular and of course flexible architecture and a, a good integration with dcs using industry standard interfaces and hot insertion or removal of a modules that is also there and provides enhanced operator information in the sense uh, it based windows based operator display and data can be displayed at multiple location and improved reliability in the sense of uh, uh, redundant power supply distribution network and also the triple modular redundant relay modules okay so these are the some of the features just for awareness now we go into the system components see system components in the sense uh, transducer 3500 rack and of course the 3500 software and the computers huh? okay so this is the look and feel of this uh, monitor uh, uh, 3500 system so if you look at this friends so power supply here right number 15 huh? this is the power supply and you have this various modules 20 32 32 40 40 like that right so each one of the module i am going to discuss uh, in this uh, 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 session okay each one of the module so that is why i said this more limited to hardware okay and if anything extra you need friends let me know and especially the friend who asked for this let me know i will uh, work on it okay right so now first 350015 uh, number 15 that is about ac and dc power supply and this is the look and feel so it's a half height module eh? see two modules basically half height eh? okay so installed in the left most slot and eh? left always eh? the left actually mm? if you look at the configuration in the previous uh, slide it's in the left right so always on the left mm? that is the point okay then upper most is the primary supply and the lower module is the backup supply and the removing an insertion of one supply at one time huh? one supply at one time will not uh, disturb operation of course if you take both it will out right so that is the point okay so that's about the power supply then the second one is about a uh, module 20 that is a rack interface module or rim okay so this is basically an interface card between the rack and monitoring computer so work as a communication server right and yeah it is located in the first slot okay first slot means after the what power supply right good to go now 350042 this is proximity seismic monitor okay so it's basically a four channel 1 2 3 4 four channel monitor 
it accesses inputs from proximity and seismic transducers in the field. Okay, it monitor acceleration, velocity, and absolute shaft measurement. Okay, so this is about the 42 module. Then we have for 32 module. It's basically a relay, a relay channel, channel relay module. So it is a full height module and it provides four relay outputs as you can see here one, two, three, four. And it provides alarm on alert and tripping on danger situation. This is the point. Uh, we need to understand this. It provides an alarm on alert and tripping on danger situation and programmable for and or OTing of trip relays. So this is about module 32, that is channel relay module. Then we have a module 40, which is used for the proximity monitor. Again, it's a four channel monitor and it accepts inputs from proximity transducer. It monitors radial and vibration, radial vibration and thrust position. Okay, that is the uh, use. So radial in the, in the sense, uh, you know, the vibration zero to 500 micrometer or zero to 20 mil max. Uh, we call it as a mil max, right? Yes. Then thrust is uh, four, uh, 40, zero, 40 mil max. Uh, this is the range. Then it holds alarm points, uh, set points, uh, both alert and danger. And it compares the monitor value with the alarm set points. So these are the some of the functionality. And it provides an input signal to the relay module, uh, which we have seen in the previous slide, right? Yes. When the monitor value exceeds the set point. Okay. So this is about the proximity monitor. Then we have 25. Uh, again, proximity monitor. But basically, this is a half height two channels. There it is basically four channel, right? Here it is two channel. So it measure RPM of the observed shaft. Uh, so we either notch or projection on the shaft. Okay. So association of key phase or signal with the peak to peak vibration you use to determine the vibration spectrum. So using this, we can also have this vibration spectrum. This is about the module 25. So it range from 1 to 99 and 999 RPM. Okay. And maximum of four key phases signals are possible with this. Uh, two here, two here. All right. Good to go. Yeah. As of course, the front view. In front view, you can have this OK and transmit uh, TXRX. And we have a buffered output. Uh, this you can see here actually. Okay. Then we have a temperature monitoring, uh, uh, 61. So it is a full height module, six channel monitor basically. And it accepts both thermocouple and RTD input, provide 4 to 20 milliamps recorder outputs. So that's all, friends. Uh, it's a very you know short video, but it's very important to understand the 3500 architecture. So as I mentioned earlier, so if anything specific uh, to your domain or to your, uh, your requirement, let me know, comment in this uh, comment or you can also write to me. I will work on it. Thank you very much uh, for the support. Keep supporting friends. Your support is very much important. Yeah. Thank you and see you in the next video. Perhaps what we will continue with the fire alarm system. I have a few more uh, interesting topics about future technologies and uh, all these, uh, and of course, how to prevent the false alarm. All these are there coming up. Uh, thank you and stay tuned. Bye bye. Take care.